Hello and welcome to Upside Down Crypto. In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that will help you manage your plots easier. So let's get started. So I'm going to get straight to it without wasting your time too much. It's called Chia Plot Status. This is the official website. I'll include a link below so you can download it. So what does the tool do? The tool will show you your plot status. I mean, you can get all this through the log files on your current uh, GUI Chia app. However, this just makes it much easier. It's just really nice. You can have a look at your finished plots, plots that are having issues, dead plots and all that stuff. Bear in mind, this is my test machine. So um, I'm just doing test plots on this machine. I'm doing experiments and I use this specific machine to record videos. So I currently have a few plots plotting at the same time in parallel. And if I go here, you can see the status of all these plots. You can see one of them took uh, six hours, phase one. Actually, phase one, they all kind of took around the same time. Phase two, they took around the same time as well. Th phase three hasn't happened and phase four hasn't happened yet. This is a very slow computer. It's my test computer. And let's look at my finished plots. You can see like there's different times. And the good thing is it gives you the setting you had when you were plotting. So for example, I had two threads here and my RAM was 3.3 gigabytes almost. Here I had five gigabyte RAM, here I had two gigabyte RAM, four threads. So it puts everything into a really nice graphic table so you can optimize your plotting. So here you can see, for example, phase one has taken five hours, 36 minutes. I had four threads, but I had less RAM. But here I had two threads and more RAM and it's taken six hours. So it just goes to show, for example, here, I, I could have less RAM, more CPU, then it could be faster. With this tool, you can optimize your plotting depending on your resources. For example, if you have more CPU resources than RAM, then you can set it up in a way that you allocate more CPU threads, less RAM, and you get uh, more plotting done that way. So all that data is actually available on your logs as well. So if I go to view log, you can see here in the logs, the time is here in seconds. So you divide that by 60 and you get exactly what's here for the plot. So all the information is here. However, this just makes it much, much easier to make decisions, especially when it comes to adding a time delay for your parallel plotting. So what do I mean by that? So when you're parallel plotting, so let's click on add a plot. And if I try to parallel plot and try to add a delay, a lot of times we're guessing the delay based on one or two plots, but with, with this specific resources. But if you actually come back here and you go to your completed plots, you can get a good idea on what sort of delay you have to add for your plotting. For example, a three hour delay if I do four threads and 200 megabyte of RAM. You can optimize it depending on your system. This is a very nice tool. Everything is in one place. You have the historical data when it comes to plotting, how long it took to do phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four, how long the whole thing took and with what sort of resources. It will also tell you what drive you used as your temporary drive. So if you're using the Chia blockchain GUI, this is a really cool tool. I'll definitely recommend you download it. It's free, it's open source, and it, it will just really help you out a lot, especially if you're not using the command line or you're not using command line tools, which are out there, which do the same thing. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, consider subscribing. Till the next video, Crypto out.